guys, today I'm gonna to show you a simple way to add in a little bit of extra light to your photo in Photoshop. We're gonna start with this photo right here, and when you wanna add in extra light, you wanna first take a look at the photo as a whole and see where the light is naturally coming in. So on this particular photo, you see that her hat is lit up right here. Um, there's heavier highlights, and on this side, there are shadows. It's darker on this side. You also see that the light is hitting her hand on this side, and there are shadows on this side, and there's light on her shoulder. So I know that the light is coming in from this direction over here. So that's where we're gonna add in the light. So let me show you an easy way to do this. We are going to go down to the adjustment layers, and we're going to choose a gradient layer. From here, we're gonna select a gradient that goes from a solid color to a transparent. So you can double click on this so we can change the color. And in your gradients, you'll see there's a whole bunch of them that are in here already loaded for you. Just pick one that goes from solid to transparent like this one, and we can change it to whatever color we want. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna double click the black that's already loaded in here. That's our darker color. So I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna choose a color on this side that goes with the color palette of my image and is similar to like a sunshine light color that would come in. So I might pick um, like a soft lemony yellow. I might even go make it a little more yellow orange in there. Then I'm going to double click this over here because right now my gradient is going to uh, transparent, but it also has some darkness in there and I want this to be very light. So I'm going to double click that. Oh, first I'm going to click OK so that that yellow stays and I'm going to double click on the black and I'm just going to pick white. And you can see how that instantly kind of changed and now it's going from yellow to white to transparent. So let's click OK, OK again. And on the style, we can uh, have a couple choices. You can make it radial, and you can see that the radial is kind of like a circle that goes out. Or to give it more of a creative spin, you might choose diamond, and diamond makes more of a diamond pattern. For this particular image, I'm going to stick with radial, and you can see my move tool is right there. I'm just going to take, and I'm going to move it to the spot where the light is would naturally be coming in so right about here and with the scale you can take and you can either move it down or you can move it up to make it bigger so you want to play around with the scale and make it the size that you want that extra bit of light to be i might make mine oh, let's go right about that might be a little too much oh let's go right right at 100, right where it was before, and we'll click OK. Now, I don't want it on her face, so I'm gonna click on the layer mask here. I'm gonna grab a soft black brush, and I'm gonna set the opacity of that brush all the way at 100 to brush off of her face. So I want that off of her face, just like that. Then I'm gonna drop the opacity maybe to about 50, and I'm just gonna slightly start brushing off closer to the edge of the hat, okay? Then I'm gonna drop it even more, maybe to 20 or 15%, and take it off the rest of the image. And because the opacity is so low now, I don't really have to worry about being super close to the edge of the hat. It's just very um, smooth going off of the hat, uh, you know, making a gradient that goes off the hat. And if some of that light is on the hat, that's okay because the light would fall across that hat anyways. So you can see real easy, there it is before and there, there it is after, so the before and after. And then one last thing you could do to give it a little bit more creativity, and you could totally keep it like this if you wanted to, but you could change the blend modes of this gradient fill. So you might choose screen um, to give it a little bit different look, or maybe overlay or soft light. Um, play around with the different blending modes and see what happens to your image. That one might, might not be the best, but you might wanna play around with these ones in here, 
or the lightened ones in here to see what kind of results that you get. I hope this helped you guys today. Um, if it did, I would love if you would give it a like or a subscribe. And if you do give this tutorial a try, I would love to see it. So make sure to tag me over on Instagram or if you're part of the Cozy Clicks Facebook group, um, give it a try and post your picture over there so I can see what you guys are creating. Thanks so much for watching.